Today, we're talking about something that touches the very core of our existence, finding strength and protection in the loving arms of our Heavenly Father. I will pray a powerful prayer with you at the end of the video, so watch till the end. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Take a moment to let that sink in. If the creator of the universe, the one who flung stars into existence is on our side, then who or what could possibly stand against us? It's a truth that serves as our anchor in the stormy seas of life. Now, let's talk about the limitless nature of our God. Psalm chapter 145 verses 8 and 9 paint a beautiful picture of his character. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. That's the God we serve, one whose compassion and mercy know no end. And when the challenges of life seem like an insurmountable mountain range, we have Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 echoing in our hearts. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Imagine the God of all creation saying, Don't be afraid. I've got you. It's like a soothing balm for our worried souls. So, let's break down Isaiah's message. First up, fear not, for I am with you. This isn't just a pat on the back. It's a declaration that the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega, the one who stands outside of time itself is right there beside you. We're not talking about a bodyguard. We're talking about the God who commands the armies of heaven. Then comes, be not dismayed for I am your God. Picture this as God saying, don't have a reason to be distressed, worried or anxious because I am your God. He's not limited in his ability, and so why should we worry? He neither sleeps nor slumbers, so why should we be shaken by what lurks in the darkness? And here's the clincher. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Friends, it's not just a promise to hold us up. It's an assurance that when we feel weak, he will infuse us with his strength. When we stumble, he'll be right there to help us back up. Close your eyes for a moment and visualize the hand of God upholding you, lifting you above the storms and challenges that life may throw your way. Now, let's take a moment to declare these truths over our lives. Repeat after me. I will not fear, for God is with me. I will not be dismayed, for He is my God. He strengthens me, helps me, and upholds me with His righteous right hand. I am secure in His love and limitless power. Remember the words of Psalm 20, which assures us that the Lord answers us in the day of trouble defends us, sends us help, and fulfills the desires of our hearts. It's a promise we can hold on to as we navigate life's challenges. So, let's bow our heads and seek God's blessing over this time together. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for your unwavering presence in our lives. Bless each person watching, Lord, as we delve into your word and seek the strength and protection only you can provide. 
May the truth of Romans chapter 8 verse 31 resonate in our hearts, reminding us that if you are for us, nothing and no one can stand against us. Lord, we declare your word over our lives, trusting in your limitless strength, compassion, and mercy. Today, we stand on the assurance that if you are for us, nothing and no one can stand against us. As we step into this time of prayer, Lord, we bring before you our need for divine protection. We recognize that life is a battlefield and we're in need of the ultimate protector. You. Your word in Psalm chapter 145 verse 20 reminds us, The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. We declare our love for you, O Lord, and we trust in your preserving power. Lord, your word says in Psalm chapter 91, verses 11 to 12, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. We claim this promise, Lord, that your angels surround us, guarding our every step and protecting us from harm. In the stillness of this moment, Lord, we declare Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 over our lives. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, we choose not to fear, but to trust in your unwavering presence. Strengthen us, help us, and uphold us, O Lord, as we navigate the challenges of life. We bring to you, Lord, our concerns, our fears, and the areas in our lives where we need your divine protection. You know the mountains we face, the struggles we endure, and the battles we fight. Lord, just as you delivered David from the grasp of Goliath, we ask for your deliverance in our lives. Grant us the courage to face our giants with unwavering faith, knowing that you are with us. Lord, we lift our families before you. Your word assures us in Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. May your angels encamp around our homes, providing a hedge of protection. And may your divine deliverance be evident in our lives. As we declare your word over our lives, Lord, we proclaim the truth of Psalm chapter 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In moments of darkness, may we feel your comforting presence, knowing that we are not alone. Lord, we echo the words of Psalm chapter 91, verses 1 to 2. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. May we dwell in the secret place of your presence, finding refuge and strength under the shadow of your wings. As we continue in this prayer, Lord, we claim the promise of Psalm chapter 20, verse 1 to 4. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We trust in your timing, Lord, knowing that you answer us in our times of trouble and fulfill the purposes you have for our lives. Lord, we stand on the words of Psalm chapter 91, verse 15. 
He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Today we call upon your name, O Lord. Be with us in times of trouble. Deliver us and honor your name in our lives. As we wrap up this prayer, Lord, we declare the truth of Psalm chapter 34, verse 17. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. We cry out to you, Lord, knowing that you hear us. Deliver us from all our troubles, O Lord, for we put our trust in you. Lord, we ask for your blessing over this time of prayer. May your presence fill the spaces where we are, and may your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Bless each person watching or participating in this prayer, Lord. May they experience the reality of your protection and the assurance of your love. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.